Okay, folks, this is not a fountain pen, but every once in a while, you just run, run across something that just pleases you so much, you just have to make a video of it. So that's what I'm doing today. I thought I'd film this bonus episode. Uh, so this is not taking the place of my weekly fountain pen review video. This is in addition to it. Um, so for those of you who are fountain pen purists, you may want to avert your gaze now because we're going to not be talking about fountain pens in any way. Uh, during this episode. This is uh, the Retro 51 Tornado uh, Rollerball slash Ballpoint in the pizza theme. And this is an exclusive to Gold Spot pens. Um, so if you want to get this, you have to get it from them. Now, it's not what they call limited edition, but it is an exclusive. But the problem is, any pen from Retro 51 at this point in time is effectively a limited edition, whether it's numbered or not, because my understanding is sometime before the end of the year, Retro 51 is closing shop. So they're shutting down. They won't be manufacturing Retro 51 pens anymore. So given that, any Retro 51 pen that comes out anytime uh, between now and when they go, uh, when they close their doors is effectively going to be very limited in supply. They're not going to be an endless supply of these. Now, obviously they'll probably be stocked for quite a while. You probably, you probably will be able to get it for a while, depending on its popularity, but this is not going to be around for years or anything like that for, by, uh, for that means. It's not like they're going to keep manufacturing them or anything like that. So, and that's the case with any ret pen from Retro 51. So this is a Retro 51 Tornado. Retro 51 Tornado is a very popular ballpoint slash rollerball. Um, comes in literally probably a couple of hundred different themes and what have you over the years. But this one came out recently from Gold Spot Pens and it's the pizza theme and I just thought it's fantastic and I just love it. So basically the design is just like a pizza box that you would get at a pizzeria. It's got the chef and it's got all the little slogans, hot, uh, oven fresh hand tossed pizza. It's got tomatoes and basil and garlic pictured here. Uh, it's got the uh, red and um, and white checkerboard. The pen is extremely matte finish. So in other words, there's this is this feels very smooth and matte and which is very very nice. And the green trim, the clip, the turning knob is all matte as well. Um, like all the Retro 51 Tornadoes, um, it's a twist. To, uh, to extend the, the point and you twist it back. It's heavily knurled here, which is very, very nice. It says Tornado by Retro 51 across the top of the band here and it has a very, very nice sort of functional uh, clip that works really, really well. The top of the finial uh, has, uh, the, on most of these has sort of a thematic design and this one's no exception. It's a little pizza pie with a slice taken out, which looks, looks great. So this is a great pen. They did a really, really good job. I only have one tiny little quibble with this pen, and that's the refill it came with. The refill it came with is this refill. This is the one that was actually inside this pen when I originally got it. So this is a great refill. This is a Schmidt um, short rollable refill, great rollable refill. Um, I actually have this refill in another pen. I'm going to show you how it writes uh, in a second. The only problem is this refill is black ink and I think given the theming and the color scheme of this pen that it really had to come with either a green or a red refill. There is absolutely no question in my mind that there, this must must have a black or red refill. I'm sorry a green or a red refill and instead they came with a black one which I was that that really actually disappointed me because I think they kind of really kind of blew it with that. Um, but this is a great refill, no doubt about it. So if you want to see how this refill writes, so let's 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 do a little bit of writing. I'm actually going to write with this other Retro 51 Tornado. It's the identical pen. This is in a black stealth model, but this does have that same uh, Schmidt rollerball refill um, uh, 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 that uh, that we have. So this is let's we could zoom in a little bit. So this is a Retro 51. Tornado, and this is a Schmidt uh, rollerball refill. 
and this is great this is smooth writes really well etc and so forth so no complaints about this it's and it's a rollerball so it's gonna you know it might smear a tiny bit etc because we're talking about very smooth kind of liquid ink rollerball uh, uh, pen so that's what this comes with now the, like I said the bad news is that this one came with that exact same refill. So writing in black with a pen with this color scheme to me just wasn't working for me at all. But the great news about these Retro 51 Tornadoes, and to me what makes them fantastic is, you could actually put two different types of refills in, the, in this. You could put this Schmidt Short Rollerball, uh, Schmidt Short Rollerball refill, or any one refill that's size compatible with the Schmidt Short Rollerball refill, or, it also takes a Parker style ballpoint refill, which is literally the most common type of ballpoint refill in the world. This is made by dozens of manufacturers, weight, different types of inks, all different colors, different characteristics. They even make, um, you could get a Fisher space pen type refill to put in this. And, and the, this form factor is fantastic. And it will go just fine into this Retro 51 Tornado as well. So you have the choice of either a Parker style ballpoint refill or a, um, a, a, a Schmidt, a short rollerball style refill. So really you have a world of possibilities here. So what I did and what I put in this was this refill, which is a Monteverde gel ink refill. So as you can see, it's the exact same form factor as the standard Parker refill. It'll work in any pen. Uh, that'll take a standard park refill, but this is gel ink and this one is of course in green uh, uh, Like it uh, like it uh, like it should be so I'll give you a tiny little writing sample with this if you want to take a look at what this looks like so this is a uh, Monteverde uh, Gel Refill and uh, we'll guess we'll say this is Parker style. And um, again, this writes really nice. It's very smooth. It's gel ink. It's not like your traditional old fashioned roll, uh, ballpoint ink. It's, so it's, I guess I'd say it's somewhere between a roller ball and a ballpoint, but it works really great. And I think it actually goes well color wise with this, uh, with this pen. So like I said, this pen really, really should have had either a red or a green a refill, uh, not the black one. But that, other than that, I think it's a terrific, terrific pen. I think it's really cool. I really like it. Um, these, this pen does have some heft to it. Oh, let's do a couple little size comparisons while we're at it. So here it is compared to a Lamy Safari and a Pilot Metropolitan, if you want to see what it looks like size-wise. So we're talking about a pen that's uh, a bit shorter than either of these, um, but it definitely has some, uh, some heft to it. Um, this weighs 27 grams, um, and uh, it's all metal. Um, really, really nice, uh, really nice pen. These Retro 51 Tornadoes are great pens, and this um, this um, pizza-themed one is just, I think, just absolutely terrific. Oh, one other thing I should show you, if you're not familiar with the way Retro 51 packages its pens, let's take a quick look at how this pen is packaged. One reason these make great gifts is they come in these really nice, very giftable tubes with really nice decoration on the uh, outside, and um, you open, you slide it open, and the pen kind of um, sits in this tube. I guess you could theoretically have this sitting on your desk and leave it as a as a pen holder or whatever, but that's kind of how the pen comes packaged. So it's actually it's actually quite a nice presentation. It makes great gifts, stocking stuffers, and and uh, and what have you. So they do a really nice job uh, with the artwork um, and packaging of uh, and packaging of all these. And like and like I said, this is an exclusive from Gold Spot Pens, and the only retailer that carries that carries these. And like and like I also said, these will not be, despite the fact they're not like a numbered limited edition or anything like that, these will absolutely not be around forever because Retro 51, as far as I know, and I don't think that news has changed, it was announced uh, a while back, is sometime this year shutting its doors. Um, I believe the owners are retiring and want to get out of the business or whatever, or something to that effect, and I'm not that sure of the details but um, something like that um, in uh, in any case that is uh, that's it for this video I just thought I'd uh, um, uh, let you guys uh, uh, see this cute little 
non-ballpoint pen, but again, a pen that I really, really like. And uh, for the non, I'm sorry, non-fountain pen, for the non-fountain pen enthusiast uh, in your, among you, uh, you may actually uh, 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 like, like one of these. Again, very, very cute pen uh, and very cool. And if you're a pizza fan like I am, um, you, uh, you may want to pick this up. So I think that'll do it for this video, as always. I do thank you for watching. If you wouldn't mind liking, sharing, commenting, or subscribing, that would all really be uh, uh, appreciated. But until we see each other again, have a great day. Bye-bye.